Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I really hope you enjoy what you're about to see. We are going to do a couple of experiments today with a flop cup. Uh, B.R. Turner Art is just amazing. I've been watching a lot of his videos. And this is the second piece in a series of five that I'm doing uh, on 20 by 20 canvases. I'm doing flop cups in different colors. Um, I have just fallen in love with this technique. It's amazing. And I'm getting lots of great feedback from everyone. So um, I will show you the dried piece from last time, piece number one. So here is the first piece that I did. And I don't know if you can see it up there. I used some color shift paints. So there's a uh, raspberry flash and a lavender flash. And it just sits on top. The lavender flash sat over top of this bluish purple. And this is the raspberry in here. It just looks amazing with these colors. I also used a gray and white base coat and it just gives it some awesome contrast. So yeah, that's that piece. I may have dried results in that video, but I just wanted to show you the full, it's fully dried now. So this is the very first flock cup that I did. I did in rainbow colors. Um, my paints were a little, a couple of them were a little bit thin, but um, it turned out really amazing as well. So. That's the very, very first one. That first one is not, the rainbow one is not part of my series of five. The pink and purple one is the first one. So this will be my second of five on 20 by 20, so like I said. So today um, I am using black, white, and blue and we are gonna try some chrome spray paint. I saw Sarah Mack do this. Um, I also saw another one of the accounts that I just started following. Her name is Rose. Um, I will link her down in the description. She used this in, did she do it ring pour, I think it was? And it actually turned out really amazing. So when I do my cup, I have a door right straight across from me here. I will have open even though it's freezing outside because safety is key and it's only six o'clock in the morning here. My kids are at their dad's today but James is asleep downstairs. Next thing I know he'll be awake because he can smell spray paint. <laughs> that would be kind of funny but no seriously. Safety is everything. So yes thank you to everyone who is here today. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. I would sure love it. And um, let's get painting. All right, let's get this door open over here. Okay, so here are my other colors. This is Montmartre Lamp Black. I had a little bit of my black table scrapings as well that I used in my last piece. I can't remember if I used it in my last piece. Anyway, no, I don't think so. I had some black table scrapings left that I added the lamp black to. This is Montmartre Titanium White. This is my blue mix that I had left over. It's a Rio Tech Primary Scion Blue, uh, Montmartre Ultramarine Blue, and then I had some uh, Montmartre Aqua Green, which looks a lot like the Artist Loft Aqua Green. I had a little bit of it left, so I added it into the blue just to use up my paints, and it actually turned out really awesome. Um, I also added some iridescent medium into that, and then of course, we're using the chrome spray paint. Oh yeah, and this has like a, this has like a safety seal on the cap. You're supposed to use a screwdriver, but I was able to use my popsicle stick this morning to pop the lid off, so there we go. Right. 
Oh well, let's try this. All right, so I am not using a base coat. That looks really cool. See how it's moving? <laughs> super cool, super, super cool, super cool. All right, here we go. Some of the bubbles are not popping, and I think that they're, they look like chunks, but I don't know if it must be from the spray paint. Yeah, it totally is. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some. I better get tilting this because it looks like it's drying. Okay, this has definitely created some <laughs> weird effects. And I think I'm definitely gonna have some little chunkies in here that are gonna have to stay because it's the spray paint. But that's what an experiment is all about. We'll see how this turns out. I am gonna torch it, so here we go. I like using my torched scorch, my scorch torch, but uh, with this spray paint, I don't think that's a good idea. So um, I am gonna check some of these little spots that look like air bubbles that might be chunkies, and um, I'll show you the results. So here you can see I have my door open. I've got this great little balcony out here. You can see across the units are exactly the same. So it's, these are massive townhouses, 2,000 square feet. So it's cold. It feels like two degrees Celsius. 
So here, I should have, I should have tried to turn my light off. You know what, there's too much of a glare. Okay, so the blue has the iridescent medium in it. It was actually kind of neat. I took a popsicle stick and popped as many of the little bubbles as I could because the torch was not working. The spray paint dries way faster than the acrylic paint, which I knew was going to happen, but I got some great effects. It'll be interesting to see how this whole thing dries. There's a big patch of the spray paint there. And really, this is like galaxy vibes in a huge way. I have these great lines of the spray paint, the chrome spray paint. So weird looking. <laughs> yeah, it definitely turned out very cool. Very, very cool. So I really hope you liked this piece. Hope you like what you saw. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I always love hearing what everyone has to say. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. Yeah, definitely galaxy vibes. So take care everybody. Have a great day. Have a great week. And we'll see ya in the next one.